What's up guys, Kplace here with a quick update video. We have a new horn available in Iceborne, the Stygian Tristidia. This one comes from Stygian Zenogre, the recent title update monster. Like regular Zenogre, we get this great electric guitar design, but that's not the only thing they share. Both horns also have the same song set geared towards boosting elemental damage and resistances. Regular Zenogre's horn had two strong thunder options to compete with in Kieran and Fulgur Anjanath, and unfortunately it couldn't quite match up to those. Stygian's horn is in a similar situation against Shara and Dragonbone. Which brings us to the big question, exactly how good is it compared to what we had before? Well, to find out, let's look at its stats. Stygian has a horn with higher raw attack than its thunder cousin, but the main draw here is that natural purple sharpness. If we were to build it like an elemental horn and use something like the sets I shared in my last video, we wouldn't need any handicraft whatsoever. Both Shara and Dragonbow need about 4 handicrafts in their sets, so Stygian has the advantage of extra set space. On top of that, Shara also needs free element to unlock its dragon, so that's even more set space in Stygian's favor. Using this extra space, we can put a set together that it has more raw power than Dragonbone or more element power than Shara. So where does that leave it? Unfortunately, it's in a weird middle ground where it doesn't have enough of either stat to top either horn. When I first saw its final upgrade, I thought that Stygian might be challenging Dragonbone in its niche as an element-focused anti-Dragon Blight option. It has Blight Negate, Elemental Resistance, and both Element Attack Boosting songs, and while its elemental power is lower than Dragonbone, its raw and sharpness are much better. The problem here is that it doesn't have enough element to compete with pure raw without attack boost like Dragonbone can. In fact, if anything, Dragonbone is going to end up even stronger now that we have extra augment slots, so there's really no way for Stygian to beat it in that arena. Having more raw is something that helps in cases where element isn't high enough to take over most of your damage output, but in that ring, Shara easily tops it due to the extra boost from attack up L. This means that again, if you're more about effectiveness and fashion, you're going to be skipping out on this one just like with the original. I'll admit that I wasn't very happy with it turning out that this thing isn't a winner after all. It possibly could have performed better if it had an attack boosting song, but it is what it is. I will still share some sets you can use to squeeze out most of its potential if you really want to, but other Dragon 2 options are always going to perform better. As for the armor, well, this part is going to be even shorter. None of it does hunting on any real favors, so you're totally okay to skip that too if you want. Don't be too disappointed though, Hunting Horn users. It's not all bad news in this update because Stygian wasn't the only monster at it. Safi Jiva is bringing us a complete and total 180 compared to Stygian. Instead of armor that'll do almost nothing for us and a weapon with great looks but stats that don't quite match, we're getting a strong new set and a collection of customizable horns with a huge amount of potential. We'll talk over those when the new siege becomes available next week. I just wanted to get this out because people have been asking me what I thought about Stygian's Zenogre's horn. It's a shame that it's a bit disappointing, but Capcom is going to make it up to us several times over very, very soon. Till then though, this has been another K-Plays, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.